it is the biggest art movement in the world. It's every neighborhood has its own style, and it's just to not accept it at all and to make it outlawed and illegal. I think one day will be recognized as a mistake. In Vancouver, at least, street art really has a negative vibe for a lot of people. A lot of people are really passionate about hating it. So it's kind of forced to move from street art to campus. It's just a happier medium, like, more accepted. While street art is very pure, like, there's no money in it, it doesn't matter what people want. With canvas work, you're trying to make artwork that people want to hang in their home and, and people like. But with street art, you have total freedom of expression. There's only one free wall in the city that the city actually recognizes as a place that you're allowed to paint without being arrested or without them buffing it, which is painting it white. It's a tunnel underneath Hastings Street. And I was lucky to grow up right next to this place where you could go and paint. Well, the city of Vancouver used to have a program where they would supply the paint for a mural and they would give the artist $500. And then the artist would have to go and find a wall that a business could donate, but this program's been scrapped. There's no, no graffiti management program in the city of Vancouver now. Even without funding, I think a lot of artists would still want to paint and still are looking for space to paint. So to have no program in the city right now is just terrible. Well, growing up in East Vancouver, there's a lot of poverty. Just down the street is like the biggest ghetto drug neighborhood in, the, in Canada. And it hasn't changed much. And as an artist, I can make images that a lot of people will see and, and, and images worth a thousand words. A lot of times you feel like you don't have, you can't do anything about a, a problem. So it's nice to kind of vent a bit and have a lot of people see it. Well, Vancouver is such a beautiful place, but it also has kind of like a dark side with the drug abuse and the poverty in the, in the east side. So you get kind of two sources of inspiration there. Like, you, I can just walk down the street and it looks like can't blank canvases to me. Yeah.